Look at uh, the last verse of the Bible of uh, John, the book of John, John 21 and 25. Say, and there are also many other things which Mashiach Abishai did, the which, if they should be written, every one of the things that he done, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. You know? Many things that a Mashiach Kelshai done. He said, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. That's a miracle. And Israel still didn't believe then and don't believe now, as they should. Acts 10 and 43. To him give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. <coughs> Prophets gave witness <clears throat> that through his name, by some of myself, in the name of the Lord and Savior, whosoever believeth in him should receive remission of sins. <clears throat> and we know, well, some of you might know, some of you might not know. The problem is rolling with what spirit? Whose spirit? First Peter 1 and 10. Of which salvation powers from the authority of the prophets that we just read about have inquired <clears throat> and searched diligently who prophesy of the grace any something that you don't deserve that should come unto you. Searching what? <clears throat> or what matter of time the spirit of a Mashiach. See this? It's the prophets. Searching what or what manner of time the spirit of a Mashiach, which was in them, did signify when it testified beforehand the sufferings of a Mashiach and the glory that should follow. And that's the glory that followed when we look at our. Uh, Acts 1 and 9. It says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up. After he had died, rose on the third day, walked there for 40 days. And when he had spoken these things, so they will be endowed with the Holy Spirit. When he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up in a cloud, a chariot of the Most High. When you read Psalms 104 and 3, received him out of their sight. Now this chariot, this cloud, received him out of their sight. So what happened? Once the cloud received a Mashiach Abishai up in the air out of their sight. Daniel 7.13, he had a vision of what would happen once he went. And this is I saw in the night vision. This is Daniel 7.13. We asked him what happened once he went up in the cloud. I saw in the night visions. And behold, one like the Son of Man, who we got to have faith in, a Mashiach Yahushai, came with the clouds of heaven, the angels, and came to the Ancient of Days, which is the Most High, there's nobody older than the most high. Had no beginning, no end. And they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an, is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. It's over. This kingdom that we're in now, all these kingdoms are going to be brought down. Period. 
Look, verse 18. But the saints, who are the children of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel, of the Most High, shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom, how long? Forever, even forever and ever. Right? Forever and ever and ever and ever. Forever, forever, forever. Verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. The salvation, powers and authority coming to the Israelites. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And all dominions shall serve and obey him. Everybody going to serve and obey Mashiach Yahushua. Hitherto is the end of the matter. That's all we got to say in the spirit of the Most High. Give all praise and glory to the Most High. And we got to have faith in the Mashiach Yahushua. We got more to go with it. Due to time constraint, we're going to stop right there. That's enough. That's a lot of food to eat. So, hopefully that was edifying to you. If you'd like more information, you can reach me. Pre-Star Rom at P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801-3012. Or email, at, email me at Shield of Wisdom at yahoo.com and I hope that was really edifying for you to show you that we got to keep the laws of the Most High which is righteousness we got a righteousness that comes through the faith in the Mashiach Yahushua also as he said told us in Revelation 14 and 12 and with that I say Shalom and I'm out